Backing a single trailer or a set of doubles with a semi-tractor is probably the most dangerous, intricate, and time-consuming set of maneuvers that any big rig driver has to master, sometimes numerous times daily, day in and day out. Big rig backing is not an ability any of us are born with. It is an acquired set of skills, and to acquire these skills, one has to practice, practice, and then practice more. Another truism concerning backing is that no matter how many hundreds of thousands of miles you drive in the forward position, not one of those miles is going to help you at all when it comes to backing. Some great advice is to make friends with your gear shift handle. Know the reverse position by heart and always know the profile and measurements of all vehicle components, especially your trailing component, trailers, flatbeds, and dump boxes. Know the height of all loads on semi-trailers and be cognizant of any overhang. Another area to be covered when one thinks of backing is the tractor fifth wheel hookup with the trailing components. Proper alignment of the tractor with the trailer is critical for proper fifth wheel positioning and positive lockup. Attention to proper hookup of the air brake hoses and retraction of the trailer landing gear is crucial to vehicle safety. It's important to learn the parameters, limitations, physics, and math involved in proper safe backing techniques. Yes, math is definitely involved in the physical principles related to backing techniques. Remember all those math and physics formulae you had to memorize in school and were so sure you would never need them again? Well, here's proof you were wrong. Not only general math, but algebra, geometry, and even a little trig will be used in the explanations and diagrams to follow. But we are only going to scratch the surface and give you some basic criteria to consider. Since we have determined that practice is an essential component of backing competence, every trucking firm should have backing maneuvers as a major focal point of its recurrent driver's retraining education program. There are numerous different situations where backing a big rig becomes necessary. Some are 1. Backing to a dock with a single trailer or set of doubles attached to load, unload. 2. Backing a tractor up to a trailer or set of doubles to attach the fifth wheel and air brake hoses. 3. Backing flatbeds up to a dock or rail car. 4. Backing a tanker trailer up to or under a loading manifold area. 5. Backing a trash truck up to the edge of a landfill. 6. Backing a rig with dump boxes to an area to take on or dislodge a load. With semi-tractor big rigs, the backing sequence is not complete until the driver assures that the trailer, flatbeds, are positioned properly and safely. Chocks are applied to the rear wheels to assure that the wheels don't creep, causing the trailer to roll out from the dock plate, setting in motion a sequence of events that could culminate in a deadly forklift fatality. Also, landing gear must be in the down and locked position if the tractor is going to be disconnected from the trailing components. The driver must also assure that the spring brakes are locked in place on the trailing components. Backing tasks. A major difficulty for many truck drivers is backing correctly. You must back without interfering with other traffic. It's a good idea to park safely and walk back to inspect your proposed backing route. Use your outside mirrors and, if possible, have someone stand to the right rear side of the truck while backing to give you directions and assure you that you're backing safely. Remember that you are responsible for safe backing, even with a helper. On a single unit truck, you must steer the single unit vehicle in the direction in which you wish to move the back end of the vehicle. A tractor semi-trailer will steer opposite to the intended direction to turn the rear of the trailer. The rear axle of the tractor acts as the front axle of the semi-trailer and, in effect, steers the semi-trailer. The tractor must follow an S-shaped course. When driving a semi-trailer or single-unit trucks, you can back safely on your own. But if you're backing to the blind side, passenger side, have someone outside to guide you. When backing, have someone to guide you at all times when possible. Hooking up, unhooking requirements. The procedure for hooking up and unhooking tractor-semi-trailer combinations follows. 1. Be sure the fifth wheel jaws are fully opened and the fifth wheel is tilted back so that the hookup can be made without damage. Back slowly and as straight as possible. 2. Line up the kingpin with the fifth wheel slot. Be certain trailer heights are correct. 
back straight and slow. 3. Stop the tractor just as the fifth wheel makes contact with the trailer. 4. Secure the tractor and check to see if the trailer is secured against movement. 5. Connect the brake lines and electrical connections. 6. Check the trailer brakes with the hand valve and reopen the valve for backing. 7. Back under the trailer without rolling forward. 8. Check the coupling by pulling the tractor forward. 9. Secure the tractor and release the hand valve. 10. Check the coupling from underneath the trailer. 11. Raise the trailer supports and secure the handle in the low range position. Uncoupling. 1. Secure the tractor and block the semi-trailer if necessary. 2. Place the tractor protection valve in the emergency position. 3. Lower the trailer supports, landing gear, and secure the handle. 4. Disconnect the emergency airline first. 5. Disconnect the electrical connector and the service airlines. 6. Pull the fifth wheel hook and lock handle. 7. Pull ahead gradually to allow the trailer landing gear to gradually take up the load. 8. Secure the tractor and check the trailer supports. Trailers left parked should have the wheels chocked to prevent a rollaway. Air pressure in the trailer air tank will bleed down in proportion to the amount of leakage in the trailer system. If the trailer tank is drained, the trailer brakes will release, hence the use of chocks. If the trailer is equipped with spring brakes, the brakes will remain in the applied position when the air pressure in the system is released. Always take time to ensure that your vehicle is properly coupled. By following the proper procedures and making frequent safety checks, you can greatly lessen the chances of a breakaway. Specific Backing Maneuvers As a competent driver, you will be expected to perform the following. The Stop Line to test your ability to judge the position of the front bumper with respect to a fixed line. This problem simulates the conditions encountered in stopping at a marked crosswalk, a railway crossing, or a situation in which the driver must pull forward as far as possible in close quarters without touching a stationary object or vehicle. Straight Line Backing To test your ability to keep the truck under control while moving backward with the use of mirrors. When backing a combination unit, Keep the left corner of the trailer in sight at all times. The vehicle must be backed slowly, smoothly, and as straight as possible. The Serpentine To test your ability to maneuver your vehicle in and out of tight places. This problem simulates conditions that might be encountered when disabled or wrecked vehicles partially block the highway or in negotiating detours in heavy traffic or other situations. Alley Docking to test your ability to back your vehicle into a narrow space and stop with the rear of the vehicle within a specified distance of the back limits of the space. This would be similar to backing up to a dock or shipping platform between two other vehicles from a street or yard area with limited space. Special Situations Extra Precautions If you are operating a bus, a vehicle with extra width or length, or a vehicle carrying a heavy load, you have special responsibilities and must take extra precautions. 1. Buses may create hazards when dropping off or loading passengers as well as when moving in and out of traffic. Therefore, as a bus driver, you are responsible for other people on and off the bus, so you, the driver, must be constantly alert and ever vigilant. 2. Because of their width, single-unit vehicles have a blind spot of 50 feet or more directly behind them, also known as the cone of invisibility. Be careful when shifting lanes or turning to avoid hitting vehicles. Now, having taken into account the skills and required knowledge that are required to safely and properly back a tractor or complete big rig in order to accomplish a set of tasks such as docking or trailer hookup, you can see why any backing maneuver involving a big rig is an exacting and specialized acquired skill. Constant practice in this area, as with all aspects of big rig driving, is the main key to a continued safe driving record, where backing tasks always remain a major skill component.